Hi there, my name is Josh Gorelick and I am the uh, CEO of uh, Arctic Leaf and also the Chief Growth Officer of PartnerPortal.io. Uh, I'm here to talk to you today about my focus mindset on what I use to try to work on uh, ensuring that I'm staying um, true to myself, ensure that I am uh, sticking to my core desired feelings and basically talking about what I do and some of the things that I've worked on over the years to put this focus mindset group together. Uh, I always like to start off with uh, a little bit of quotes and it talks, uh, this one really resonates with me. It talks about, you know, our thoughts create our reality, where we put our focus is the directions we tend to go. And uh, I completely believe this 100%. Uh, really what you focus on expands and it's, uh, it's an important aspect to really kind of think about, uh, especially in today's day and world, it's, there's a lot of distractions and things that are going on. So having a clear definitive approach on how to keep that mindset is extremely important. So the first thing we're going to talk about is, like I said, is where you put those focus is in directions that we tend to go in. Um, so um, I, I talk about three pillars. I have three pillars of this, this particular principle, and that is uh, self-care, family, personal responsibilities, and then business. Uh, and the kind of the premise of it is that if you're, if you're not in a good space, um, you really have no business in, in supporting anyone else. Um, and really one of the, the core aspects here is defining that core desired feeling. And what that means, uh, and this is something that I've been working on for a little while, trying to figure out how to stay in a, in a mindset that is going to excel me from my growth and, and move me in a good direction. And a lot of people set goals and initiatives. And what they're really trying to achieve is, is the feeling that the goal and the initiative is, is going to uh, derive. Uh, unfortunately, though, is when you achieve that goal, a lot of times you kind of hit that, you know, excitement and then it kind of euphoria kind of drops off pretty quickly. So the objective here is trying to stay into that core desired feelings. Uh, and this is something that uh, I didn't necessarily um, come up with, but I read in a book, it's called the desire map. Um, and to achieve that, some of the things uh, we work on or some of the things that I, I focus on is, is the principles of, you know, good nutrition, making sure you're eating healthy, sticking to a plan. Um, you know, some of the simple things like just don't eat after eight, nine o'clock at night, uh, make sure that you're getting a good amount of sleep, fresh air, walking every day. Walking is great for the soul. Uh, really gives you that opportunity to think and really process things that are going on in your life. Um, you know, if there's, if you've had a bad day, a lot of times, you know, just, just being able to go outside, walk and get some fresh air, uh, get that vitamin D, really is going to allow you to enable you to, to kind of reset that, that mindset and get, and get yourself in a much better um, position. Then we have obviously exercise, right? Making sure that you're sweating every day or two to three times a week. Yes, sweating is good. It actually releases toxins. It's, it's scientifically proven, um, you know, but again, walking is great, but I mean, getting into, uh, into a mindset or a mode where you can actually start to get some of those uh, positive effects from, from physical activity. So that could be biking, it could be rock climbing, <clears throat> um, mountain biking, things like that, mixed martial arts, you know, going to CrossFit, uh, all things that are going to elevate your heart rate and really kind of release some of that, that tension and stress that, that we deal with on a regular basis. Uh, then we have supplementation. Uh, this one's big for me, um, especially living in Canada. Uh, I did a very limited amount of vitamin D, so I'm taking vitamin D supplements, uh, multivitamins, making sure that I'm, I'm keeping my body and my mind sharp. And then the omega-3 fatty acids uh, cannot express to you what it's done for me personally, just being able to make sure that I'm in a good mindset and I'm getting good nutrients to my brain. Uh, again, I'm not a, uh, I am not a, a doctor or, or someone who is providing any form of uh, uh, medical advice. So I, before starting any supplementation, you should obviously uh, consult with your physician and make sure that it's, uh, it's right for you. Um, then you have the journaling and the meditation. Uh, these are things that I've, I personally have added into my uh, regiment. Uh, so, you know, there's, there's key items that you can use, things like the five-minute journal, uh, where you wake up every morning, you kind of talk about what your objectives for the day uh, talk about two or three good things that are going to be happening and then a night taking five minutes and then just saying like what were the positives and how could today have been better uh, so it's really just taking five minutes out of your day to get some journaling done but what the idea is, is that you're training that habit and you're getting into that positive mindset on a regular basis and then I move into you know why I mentioned 75 hard here uh, this is a program that that I recently uh, completed I started you know October uh, 2021 
and then completed it right around, um, you know, right around the uh, Christmas, New Year's holiday. Uh, the fun fact about me is that I actually caught COVID on uh, day 70. And part of the 75 part program is that you have to work out twice a day and one of them has to be outside. Uh, so you can imagine uh, not feeling pretty good. Uh, I did yoga in bed and I did my 45 minute walks uh, outside even, you know, while feeling pretty crummy. Um, and why it was really important is it, it, it challenged me. It put me in a mindset that forced me to, to deliver on what my objectives are, my core desire feelings. And I, and I just told myself that I was not going to fail. It was un, unacceptable. So really first principle, first pillar is that self-care uh, perspective. So defining your core desire feelings then moving towards it and then setting up the program that's going to keep you in a good positive mindset. Next is the family and personal responsibilities. Um, so now that you've been in a good mindset, you're taking care of yourself, your mind, your body, your soul. Uh, now you're in a position to be able to support others, right? Social interactions are super important. Hanging out with those loved ones and friends and key little thing to, you know, talk about, put your phone away. Um, it's not a, uh, you know, phones are great. They have a great place for, for what the, uh, uh, what you're supposed to do. And it keeps you in, in contact with other people and business and et cetera. But it can be a very big distraction when you're, when you're in that social setting. Uh, human contact and touch. Uh, this one is, uh, you know, actually talking about intimacy. So being intimate with your partner and, and being able to create that, that trust and that bond with that other individual. That's going to have a lot of impact on the focus. It's a stress relief. It, it's putting you in touch with your soul. It's figuring out your love language. Uh, and it's a really, really important value in my, in my personal belief, um, making sure that you're, you're being present and, and family first. Uh, and, you know, so again, you know, if it's, if your own backyard is a mess then you have really no business in helping your neighbor, and this is not just in your personal life, but this is also uh, in your, in your business life. Um, but really, when it comes down to family and personal responsibilities, there's so many distractions, um, but be present. And, and just a quick little story on that. I went to a conference uh, years ago, uh, Brandon Bouchard's High Performance Academy. And one of the exercises we did was uh, talking about if, if you died today, what were the three principles or three words you would want to be on your gravestone? And in the group, someone said present. He's like, I want to be known as being someone who was present. Uh, and I thought that really resonated me, ex resonated with me extremely well because it was something that um, I'm not very good at, and it's something that I knew that I was like, wow, that's something that I really need to think about, and how can I be more present in day to day life and in my family responsibilities, uh, you know, even just like I talked about self care um, and, and putting that phone away, eliminating distractions. Um, so just something that I think is really really important, especially in today's day and age where there's so many different things happening uh, is being present in the environment. So those are the family personal responsibilities of my pillar. Um, then you get into the business. Uh, first principle here is make sure your first two pillars are in check, right? If you're self-care and you're not in a good headspace, um, you're not going to be able to be good for your, your personal responsibilities and family members or kids or wife or spouse or partner. Uh, so so first, first principle there is make sure that your two pillars are in check. And then uh, building a short-term and long-term goals. Um, I actually toyed with using goals. I, I'm, mo I'm moving more into more of an intention rather than goals because goals, uh, like I said earlier, do not necessarily give you what you want because you achieve a goal and then you're always looking for the next item uh, or the next thing to do. So for me, it's more around setting the intention and getting into that core desired feeling. Um, Sure, a lot of people have talked about having an accountability partner. I cannot express this enough. Uh, everyone should have an accountability partner. I personally coach other people and I personally have coaches and therapists and, and mentors that I look up to and that I work with. Um, this is imperative, especially in business, to be able to bounce ideas off of, um, you know, making sure that you're, you're asking the right questions, you know, asking people that have done the things before in the past that, that, um, that, that maybe something is a, it's a new area of business that you've never done before. Uh, so, so having that coach and mentor in your back pocket is definitely something of, of, of huge value. And, and again, they're going to hold you accountable and keep you focused. Um, another component is reading, uh, reading lots of books, setting aside time to educate yourself. Uh, you know, the world we live in today is super fast. It's, it's high paced. Um, so making sure that you're keeping up with the times, 
um, you know, listening to podcasts and on individuals who have who who kind of captivate uh, your interest in the business sector. So these are really important aspects. And, and again, all these little things uh, are going to keep you focused on it. Then something something that I've been trying more and more of is this concept of uh, managing your calendar and and really picking one big thing to do on a given day and two smaller things. Um, our brain can't actually handle the amount of information that we're trying to kind of jam in there. So running your calendar effectively, making sure that you have one or two bigger things or one big, big thing that you want to work on that may take a couple of hours and then two smaller things that are, you know, 25 or 30 minute blocks. Um, but those are really just some key principles of just like, you can't get everything done in a given day. And if you try to, you're going to make yourself crazy. So really set yourself up for success, focus on the things that need to be getting done and, and work, work those, those particular items. And then the last one here for business, and I wish I would have, I wish I would have <laughs> had this advice earlier on in my career was, was actually learning to say no. I, I think it, I don't, you know, especially if you're just starting out in business, if you're, you're a little bit new, you're going to say the yes to a lot of things. I can do this. I can do that. I can start five different companies. Uh, unfortunately, it, it, just, it just becomes a distraction. At one point, I was the CEO of four companies and I did a terrible job. Uh, it just wasn't, uh, it wasn't working for me. So uh, learning to say no, while it's a, a, a hard component and something that, that takes practice, it's a habit. Um, but, but as soon as you learn um, how to say no to things, it will keep your mindset in a very, very more solidified uh, position and it allows you to focus. So last but not least here is finding that balance, right? So you have the self-care pillar, the family pillar, and your business pillar. And ultimately what we want to do is we want to we be centered in that middle. So everything's humming on a nice frequency. You're in a good space. Your head's in a good space. Your body and mind and soul are good. Family's in a good spot. You're taking care of your partners, your family members, your support people, uh, and you're in a really good place. And then business, now you can focus on your business aspect and you can focus on driving success, prosperity, and then all that obviously rolls up. So what we want to do is we want to be sitting in that middle zone, right in that balance section. So those are just... Um, some key key takeaways. And they kind of just wrap it all up. Um, you know, it's, it's defining that core desire feelings. There's actually some great workshops and things like that online, um, templates and things to be, kind of walk you through how to achieve those core desire feelings, putting that plan into place. So that's setting things up for success um, and then doing regular check-ins, right? Um, so a lot of people set these kind of intentions and they never check in with themselves. They never ask themselves, how am I doing? Am I actually focused on what am I achieving? Am I in line with my core desire beliefs and my feelings? Am I in line with my spiritual values? Am I in line with like, am I more present at home? So really start asking yourself some of those hard questions. Um, and, and this is really hard. Like personal development is actually one of the most challenging things to do. Um, but if you do it right, you can stay, you know, pretty much uh, in, a, in, a, in a good positive mindset and a good focused mindset. And I think the last piece here is it's okay to fall uh, and it's okay to fail sometimes. And, and that's, that's all right, because you're going to get back up. You're going to learn from those mistakes and you're going to prevent those things from happening again. Uh, I think me personally, what I've learned is, you know, I've learned the most, not from my wins or my successes, but the things that I've done in my past that, that i uh, that I've learned from that I, I may or may not be super happy with, or I thought I was going to win a deal. I didn't win a deal. And I figure out why I, 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 I you know, I didn't win that deal. Uh, so you're going to take all those learnings and information and be able to, uh, you know, apply that going forward. So these are my core principles, family, self-care, business, um, set your mindset, figure out what works for you because it's not going to work for everyone. Um, this is just what worked really, really well for me and has been keeping me uh, highly focused in a, in a very weird time uh, in the world that we live in today. So uh, hopefully you, you achieve some of this value or achieve, uh, got some value out of this, uh, this, this little session here. And if you are interested in connecting with me, um, there's my phone number and you can also reach out to me on LinkedIn, uh, et cetera. I'm happy to connect if there's anything I can support on. So thank you for uh, the time today and uh, hopefully um, you got some value out of this uh, focused mindset that I've been working on for a little while. Thank you.